Hello guys, hello guys. So today we're going to be making smothered pork chops. Okay, we're just going to simply season it with Tony's and some garlic parsley, guys. For some reason, I just want to just use... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot that was the lip. Okay. For some reason, guys, just the way I feel today, just the season I want to use. Okay, they're all seasoned up. Let's see. I don't want that grease too hot. I think the grease is hot, but I just turned it down. But anyway, the next door. My rice is cooking, so let's turn that down. Turn that rice down. Along with the pork chops, okay? Let's go ahead and drop the pork chops in. No, we're not going to cook the pork top all the way through because it's going to finish cooking on in the gravy. So we're absolutely not going to cook the pork top all the way through, okay? I like to put a slit through it, but it looks like it's about to fold, so it's open back up. Some of y'all know what I was talking about. Okay, now we're going to add the last two. Now we want to okay, that's good enough. Okay, now in that pan, after you pour that grease off, you want to use that same grease and you want to saute some onion. Saute your onion up really, really well. Okay, once I get that onion like I like it, okay, definitely like I like it. Okay, I wanted to bring you guys up close for this part, okay? So then you want to go ahead and get your flour. This is a big pan, so I'm going to make sure I use enough flour. But you know you can always add flour as you go. But I feel like once you already make your flour, like you make your gravy, just start putting it in a cup. If you feel like it's you want it a little thicker, just put a little flour in a cup, stir it up, little flour in a cup, stir it up, and then go from there. So what I do here is I just make sure all of my onions seem like they have a coat that I want on it. Make sure they have a coat that I want. Some people use a little flour. I like thick flour. I mean, I like thick gravy. Okay. And I want it a little thicker. So, it should be good enough, okay? Stir it like I like it. Make sure all of the flour sticks to the onion. And it looks something like that. If you can't already see it, it'll look something like that, okay? But then what you want to do is you want to slowly pour some cold water. I 
I like thick gravy, guys. I'm just you. So when I, I make my gravy, guys, I season it just a little, guys, so it won't taste so floury. I season it just a little because, you know, you got to put that meat back in there. And mess up your whole meal. If you have salty gravy. You know, mess your whole meal up. I like my gravy covering my meat, okay? So that's gonna be a good, that's gonna be good right there. But I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys before I add more water and browning season, okay? Now before I add more water, that's what it looks like. You didn't see it good, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna add more water. Okay, I got more water. It's thick enough, it's really thick, thick, but it's not, come on. We don't want it like paste, okay? So it's gonna be good enough for me, guys. I can already tell. I can already tell. Gonna add Westshire sauce for the coloring, guys. Only, but I mean, don't put too much now. Don't put too much. You're gonna have it salted. I just like it a little browner, guys. So I add Westshire sauce. I usually add soy sauce. Okay, with the seasoning, guys, we're gonna add just a little bit of paprika. You know, paprika, there ain't gonna really be no taste with the paprika. We all know that. Okay. And just a little bit of soul food seasoning. A little bit of soul food seasoning. Not too much. Oh! Oh, girl, I thought I. Ooh. Ooh, I thought that top came off. I was gonna be pissed. Let's add the onion. I love the onion. Let's add the pork chops, guys. So I have to make sure I don't like when my gravy don't cover my pork chop. Ooh. Oh, baby. I want it immersed in the gravy. I know some people like to come back and you know flip it over and put gravy on it, you know. That is immersed enough for me. I'm gonna let that cook, guys. It smells delicious. We're gonna let that cook. And then we're gonna start on my, I got the rice over here, and I'm gonna make me some strain beans. Okay, guys, and with my strain beans, I don't like to use the juice that comes in the juice. So I like to use broth. You can use either one you want. I don't use them all. That's what chicken beef, it don't matter. Whichever one you want to use. So I do not like to use. Okay. Frame beans. Let's try something I never did before. Bacon bits. In the strain beans. Never did that before. We'll try it. And that is what it looks like, guys. And of course, it's gonna it's, it's real hot, so we're gonna let the let it cool off a little bit, huh? Let's just hold on. All right, taste test, guys. Taste test. I can eat that. Eat it What? Feel good. Huh? Eat the ones you got on there. I just tasted it. 